So apparently, this is episode 7 of The Owl House, season 2, Through the Looking Glass Ruins. Apparently, we as a fandom are awful. Somehow, we have missed two entire episodes of this show. According to Hulu, at least, season 2, episode 7, Through the Looking Glass Ruins. So, mmm. I don't know what we've been doing the last two weeks that we forgot about, guys, but we got some episodes to catch up on, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Link in the description for the non-timer version of this video. Or, if you want, you can pull up your copy of Season 2, Episode 7, apparently, of The Owl House through the looking glass ruins and press play on it when I press play. When the timer reaches zero, remember, do me a favor and remember to like, comment, and subscribe all the YouTube nonsense. Let's go. The Gus focused episode, okay. Why wouldn't they attack him? Well, they did. The bandages. Man, that felt... <laughs> I'm a little surprised they didn't just show us what happened, actually. I cannot wait to get more Golden Guard content. Through the Looking Glass Ruins Wonderland? It's obviously a Wonderland reference, so... Uh, I guess... Alice in Wonderland is sometimes depicted as a dream. Bad cur- <laughs> Wait, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> Says... Bad girl coven. I thought that was Ida on the shirt right here for a second. <laughs> like, wow, look at Gus. Oh, starting the timer at 111 in 3, 2, 1, go. No, wait, that is totally. Free. <laughs> oh no, is it worse? No. <gasps> oh God, one of them had like bones. Not at all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the bandages. We're getting right into this. Stonimo, come on! We at least gotta add the flair of Augustus to it! <laughs> They're not... Do you feel bad that there's not much you can do in a situation like this? There is a lot you can do. Actually, pretty cool watching regular civilians save the day. I liked her design. <laughs> it's been a while since we've seen him.
the cat looking one reminds me of Amethyst from Steven Universe. Just the hair. Hey, you again! <laughs> I don't remember his name. Augustus! That they sound painful. All right. <laughs> Making best use of that. Is there really that big of a stigma against illusionists? Because, well... Yeah, but that doesn't prove them wrong. He needs to use his illusions for their best case scenario, which they are useful in many circumstances. We've seen it! Especially the invasion of Belos' castle. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Ah, yes. And we'll probably get to see Amity. Awesome. Mystery vendor, really? <laughs> and it's gone. Someone else has it checked out. Who has it checked out? Amity? Gold? Hey, her hair. Okay, that's what's up. Yay! Yeah, I feel like it's pretty much directly mutual at this point, which I appreciate. <laughs> kind of. Wow, roll reverse. Never mind, Amity's still just as bad. <laughs> Wow! Wow! Uh, I mean, the other thing they did in the previous episode where uh, they helped them get into the party, that was one thing, but that was the most bro move either of them has ever done for Amity. And I, I, I finally have something just 100% good thing they've done. Finally, I can like them unconditionally. Thank God. Goodness, because everyone in this fandom seems to love them, and I'm like, they're kind of awful most of the time. <laughs> Start the timer at 6.50. In three, two, one, go. Would a bean? Hold up, hold up, we have to at least... Take a look at that name, Philip Wittabeen. Sixteen hundreds, maybe. Ooh. As an aside, I've been mulling over the idea for Creepy Loose that Somehow, it is a creation of the Boiling Isles itself as one of the means by which it remains hidden from the human world. Sort of a super science version of it. I wonder if the deconstruction 
an existence of matter. The deconstruction of the existence of matter is still impossible in the world of this show, as one would think that it is here, wherein, you know, matter cannot be completely destroyed. So, Lou's leaving her dimension was literally impossible from a physical front. And I've added this into my theory thought process. I'm not going to call it a full theory yet, because I haven't given this the time and the research and all that to make full sense of it, that this same thing may have happened with uh, the human who came to the human world pre previously, Philip, apparently. Other human comes to the human, to the boiling aisles. Other human comes to the boiling aisles and they leave behind this version of themselves. Because I was going to say a shadow version, but the shadowy face over creepy Luz is obviously just uh, stylistically driven. It, that's, she probably looks exactly like regular Luz. And it makes me wonder if this it character is going to be driven in its own right, if this is just something that happens when you travel from the human world to the Boiling Isles, and if that's going to end up mattering. Not a fully formed theory, nothing like that. I'm not going to stand by the ideas I've proposed here because they're awfully loose and uh, barely interconnected, but I think it is interesting enough to bring up. Starting the timer at 6.56. In three, two, one, go. I doubt it would be that simple. Oh, no! I like that Luz intersperses uh, Spanish-speaking on, on occasion. Oh. <laughs> it feels like your power over her is too much, Luz. <laughs> this feels wrong in all the right ways. What's the disadvantage? Is one of these Galder stones what that gauntlet was formed into? The one Willow tried out? You could create bigger illusions, something like that. Maybe solid light projections, that kind of thing. Does she? I don't, I, really, I don't think she's screwing with him like Bartholomew is. It's the light one? No, it's not. Yes, it is. Cool. I mean, it's legit. It's a different way of doing magic. It's just... Sadly, I don't think that's the way Gus should be proving that his he, he has value. I don't even even if he didn't even if he was powerless, he'd have value. But specifically, his illusions. You're cool, librarian dementors. <laughs> no! Whoa, that was a different response. 
That was a concerning response, actually. Oh no. I was I was I was prepared to be like thrilled and ecstatic on the aww front, but Amity wasn't about that life. That she was on different plane. Oh no. Starting the timer about at 958. In three, two, one, go. No, you don't. You really are just that earnest. Okay. <laughs> He's looking out for something. Ah! Aww. Oh, there's going to be some huge drawback to using these. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, like, Grumplestiltskin always said, all magic comes with a price. The Phantom Bringer? Illusionists. I mean, read the sign. What? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I come on, I liked you. No. Awesome! It's probably an illusion. A kick-ass illusion. Ooh! Would Luce, or I guess Gus in this case, holding the Galler Stone have an effect? Dead Wardian. This is like, not even close to the creepiest evil library I've ever seen. That's pretty messed up. Mike, it's like I am a rat. <laughs> You're fired. Aww. I don't blame him. Fair enough. Oh, I, I, I really did think that. Uh, she's crying for more reasons than just that. Oh, no. I, I, I didn't think that they were going to go to that level when I said brought up. The worst part is, I would look up what she's saying, I'd, put, I'd turn on captions, so I'd e have an easier time, you know, understanding it, because, uh, you know, the whatever the words are, but when you turn on captions for the Owl House, when Lou speaks Spanish, all it says is Lou's speak Lou speaking Spanish. And it's actually kind of irritating. I'm like, I really, like, want to, like, 
fully understand. No. <laughs> so I have to wait for a transcript so I can properly, yo, that's what it says. So I can then translate it. Starting the timer at 1358. In three, two, one, go. Ooh, how nice. It's it is an illusion. I knew it. That's true. I liked you. Come on. See what you got, dude. Oh. Why did why why'd you make a keyblade? <laughs> we did, all right, Sora. Metholomule. Okay, it can't be obvious. Is the catch on? <laughs> Not a bad idea. At least you're enterprising. It's the uh, this is the butterfly an illusion. I have never so badly misjudged a character. I've been wrong before, but not like this. No! Ah! Ah! Ooh. Ooh. Who needs... It to be tricks if they can simply take away your eyesight. This whole thing's an illusion. Never mind, she can interact with it, therefore it's real. No! Ah! It is. She, they're just making it look like it's not, and it's getting to you psychologically. Oh, that's scary as hell! <laughs> you combine illusions with real impact. Learning from Mysterio, my guy! Ha 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 ha!
<laughs> Ooh. Amity with her hair down is just a very different look. Look at them talking like sisters. Oh my god. My heart can't take it. Actually, positive things going on in the Blight household. Starting the timer at 19.08 and 3, 2, 1, go. Oh. Yes. No, just it. Yes! <laughs> oh no. Oh, I'm in. Mom always, I thought she said I always liked it green, and I was like, I, I, I thought I remembered there being a whole thing with that being a negative thing between her and the parents. I could be mistaken, but I was like, wow, maybe I'll, wow. I like it better. This is nice. <laughs> but don't tell mom I helped. Started the timer in 1938. In three, two, one, go. <laughs> yeah! Oh my god. Hey. Yeah. No. It's like the echo mushrooms or echo flowers from Undertale. It is with a bane. Ooh. Yeah, okay, Bellos is definitely at least heavily associated with Philip, if not him in the first place. Oh. <laughs> no, stop her! No! <laughs> Did Luz fall to her knees? Oh! 
This show is so is so excellently avoided. What I hated about Star vs. the Forces of Evil is just all the chipping that they, they that they dangled in front of you, mostly for Marco. Marco had like eight potential girls by the end of the show or something like that. It was ridiculous. And maybe that's an exaggeration. That is an exaggeration. But they're actually moving a relationship forward. And it's so much nicer. Even if they're not dating or anything like that, it's nice to see the different stages of something actually happening. I had other thoughts about the episode, but that ending kind of just killed all that. Okay. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, there's no chance at this point that Philip has nothing to do with Bellows. Absolutely none. If Bellows is not Philip, which at this point he may very well be, but I don't think it's it's that simple if he is. <sighs> If he's not Philip, he definitely has something to do with him. Minimum. God, I did not think I'd end up being this big of a Lumity shipper. What's wrong with me? <laughs> awesome. Take care, guys. Remember, like, comment, and subscribe. Yada, 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 yada. See you next week. <laughs>